it's 5 10 p.m monday the 28th of may 92 hot degrees outside so we're in the pool yes yes and somebody's very happy about that yes she is delighted we're gonna swim at the homestead with mama and maybe addy for sure not jojo for sure ah! for sure not little dog look at her you gonna come get it You're so beautiful, look at you. Hi, how are you? I'm doing quite well. How are you? You're so pretty. This is what you want, your family in the water with you. Fine. Okay, you ready? You ready? You ready? Go, Let's get go. It? Okay. go get it, mama. I know, go get it. Really? <laughs> what are you doing with that mouth? <laughs> Got it. Come on, Mama. Come You're so cute. <laughs> Good Mama. And no, we don't use tennis balls with her. Um, we used to, but Millie likes to shred things. And tennis balls were easily shred by her. But these balls, she completely leaves alone. She doesn't chew them or even try and get their squeaker out so they squeak and she leaves them alone so we buy them and it's a five pack that we <laughs> you're inching the wrong way let's go this way ready uh it's a five pack we get at pet smart and we have a stash of them because she loves them so much oh <laughs> that tail is giving me a shower where to go? Where is it, Mama? <gasps> there it is. Wanna go get it? Oh, I want that to Yes. <laughs> she loves to chase after the ball, but she is getting older. She is older, and um, she does have a bad leg. So swimming is really good for her. We do encourage her to swim, but not too much because we don't want to wear her out or cause any pain um she has medication she's being treated this you know she's she's been treated for this for quite some time um Come on. Let's go, get go with it. daddy go get it <laughs> good girl do our dogs go to the vet? I don't think a month goes by that at least one or two of them isn't. <laughs> Tail whip. Tail whip. <laughs> one or two of them isn't at the vet. Um. Uh oh, hold on. Good girl. Oh, <laughs> it's that easier. Anyway, as I was saying, um, our vet, our beloved vet, just last month, um, had had to retire due to illness. And we're getting used to the new one. She's very, very kind. She's getting to know our pups. Um, we did go and see her before our vet retired. And um, so we will start, get it, mama? We will start seeing her again in the next week or so. Everybody's going in for their annuals well joe and addy have had their annuals we we break it up obvious for obvious reasons because we have several pets so <laughs> we kind of have to break the pet budget up over a couple of months yeah um and they have been seeing the same vet since the day we found no um that's not true uh we were seeing a vet local to us that we had been using for years and years and years and, uh oh, mommy will get it. That we've been using for quite some time. And he retired. And we weren't fond of his replacement. So, um, our last vet was recommended by a veterinarian friend that we fostered for. And so, we went to see him. And again, he has retired. 
due to illness. Um, and, uh, oh, coming at you. Good mom. Come back this way. Oh, you're going that way? Anyway, so everybody's gonna go in next month or next week and get all of their shots, the, the last two. Like I said, Addie and Joe have had their shots. Millie and little dog are due next month, next week, which is next month. So they'll be going in. I don't know if I've ever told this story about Millie. I don't think I have. I don't think I have. No. We found Millie, or you found Millie. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> which I'm so glad. On the side of the road in a ditch. Oh, thank you, Mama. On New Year's Day, um, she was in deplorable conditions. Uh, really, really bad shape. And uh, naturally, the vets were closed on on January 1st. So we brought her home and the neighbor that used to live a few houses down from us was a breeder. So we talked to him, being very familiar with pets. We called in our veterinarian friends. And anyway, long story short, she was in very bad shape. She, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna show here. Let's see if you can see it. She has scarring around her neck and her neck. Woo, mommy's falling in the deep end. Uh -huh, mommy's not tall enough. I'm not. Ah. You probably can't see it because she's wet, but she is scarring under here and no fur. Um, is that thing on? Oh, mama. <laughs> um, she had a horse bridle and chain and like just a whole bunch of metal things around her neck. And they were embedded into her fur and into her skin because they were so tight and had been there for so long. She was only, she was about a year old. The vet estimated nine months to a year when we found her. Um, she was covered in fleas. Oh my gosh. And like, oh dear, go mama. And uh, very thin, very pregnant. We thought she had worms. She did not have worms, but she was very, very thin, underweight, malnourished for a pregnant mama. And so um, we, at the time, it was 2009 and the economy had just crashed. And uh, so the shelters around here were full and we were not in a position at that time to foster properly. But um, thankfully we had the support of veterinarian friends and veterinarians in the area because the shelters basically said they would euthanize her. That was not gonna happen under my watch. That was not gonna happen. So, um, so we kept her and uh, I got online. I read everything I could about whelping puppies and the vet taught us a bunch of stuff and you know, it was a crash course because it was any day she was gonna deliver. Our neighbors let us borrow, borrow a whelping pen and we cleared a big old space and she had her puppies. 13 puppies on January 18th. There's one of them. That's right, I had them. It was, um, it was a lot of work and totally worth it. Very, very rewarding, right mama? Pretty girl, Rizzo, no. Give mama kisses. You guys kisses. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Sweet mama. Wanna go play with daddy? No. Go, daddy. Go get daddy. Go get daddy. So here we are, nine years later. We took care of all the puppies, had all their shots done, um, had all of their vetting, vetting done. Um, they were approved by vets before they, the puppies were adopted out. Um, and uh, there was a contract they had to sign that said if it didn't work out, they brought the puppies back to us. What are you, do what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, silly puppy? <laughs> Um, anyway, so we had one come, two come back, Jojo and Addy. I mean, Jojo and um, Max. Max, Max, Max 
had to go immediately to our trainer. He was there, what, six weeks? Yeah. So, <laughs> there she goes. Max had to go into training for six weeks because he was, he was very ill-behaved when he came back to us. And we had to fix that so that we could adopt him out. We did all that. Um, so, there you go. So that's how we... We got Joe back. Yes. Sick. We got Joe back and he was just beyond sick beyond sick and it was months of treating him to get him well he's still not well he's he just it's allergies but he looked terrible when we got him back he had no fur oh my god it was terrible and it wasn't a neglect it was not neglect he just he was sick and it took us uh, dr wood our beloved dr wood fixed him he's the only one that ever fixed him and we saw how many vets we saw a bunch of vets trying to figure out how to how to help him help him so ready Go get it, Mama. Anyway, so that's the long version of Millie. Oh. Well, you can go get it. It is right there, Mama. Go get it. Get the ball. I don't want to. <laughs> you're you're just spoiled. He did spoil. Oh, you keep inching closer and splashing me. <laughs> Laser focus. Ready? It's going behind you, okay? There you go. Anyway, so um, they all know us at the veterinarian office by name. <laughs> all of our dogs are known by name. When I call, they recognize my voice. I mean, it's just <laughs> almost wrong, almost <laughs> wrong and excessive, but um, I can't help it. They are my babies and our babies. So. And I was not a big dog fan at first. No, he was not. Rob actually was not a fan of dogs, and you can't blame him. He was nearly mauled to death by a dog when you were five. Yep. Five. German by a German Shepherd. Literally almost killed him. That's not an exaggeration. Um, he had several stitches to be put back together. Several surgeries to be put back together. Ready? Um, oh, the hair's wet. Oh, well. <laughs> And um, so when he met me all those years ago, I've always been an animal lover. I've always had many dogs, many cats at one time. And um, it was a requirement. So basically, our first few years of marriage, we lived in an apartment. We couldn't have pets. I mean, so, but the first time we were able to have a dog, I just sort of <laughs> went, went to the shelter and picked up the cutest, snuggliest little puppy I could find and brought him home. You can come get it if you need I don't to. want to. And that's all it took. He was a convert. <laughs> they began rolling in after that and began being fosters and caring for puppies. Finding every animal. We've had many, many, many animals. So... Anyway, if they don't have tags, they found me. Yes, if they don't have tags, they find him. We never find the ones with tags ever. You can see we have no teeth left. We have no teeth left. Oh, there, senior puppy. You seen your puppy. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, you pretty princess. Oh, I left. I've been abandoned. Surprise dog. Oh, kisses. You give mommy kisses? You have to be careful when you get kisses from her and she's been in the backyard. <laughs> you see that bird? Is that what you see? Where is it, little dog? Papa, you want to come swimming? Come on. Come here, Papa. Come on. I see mommy, daddy. Papa, come here. Come on, come see mommy, daddy. Come see mommy. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, he's such a sweet girl. He's such a sweet baby. Did you have to come over here to bug me with the ball? Yes, I did. <laughs> you want to play with Addy? You want to play with Addy? We have to get them new collars like yeah. every six months. I don't know what it is. I think it's because they spend so much of their time wet. <laughs> Either they're being bathed or they're in the pool or something. Look at you. Fermented. Or being fermented. Oh, jeez. I know somebody who needs one. That's right. Hello, oh, man's like, it's not me. It's not me. I don't need it. I don't have extra. No. Where are you, little dog? He's on the back side of the fire pit. <gasps> there you are. Come here. Come here, my little grace now. Everybody's a senior now. Yes. Everybody's a senior, huh? Come here. Can you tell the story a little bit now? Yeah, little dog. Was Robbie and Dad oh. were driving down one of our streets here, and it's a very busy street. And he was sprinting down the side of the road. And yes, it's okay for her to drink a little bit of pool water. We have asked repeatedly because it worries me, but apparently it's not, it's, as long as it's not their only source of water, it's fine. Um, he was sprinting down the side of the highway, side of the road. Uh oh, you gonna go get it, mama? Good girl. And we stopped and picked him up and uh, called our local facility here, animal control here, because he has a tattoo on him, which is a mark of adoption from one of our shelters here. She loves to do this with Rob. She loves to play this game with Rob. Yep, she'll catch it, and then she'll drop it in somewhere for him to play. Um, and we were asked to foster him because the shelter was full, the facility was full, where they go where you put um, found dogs here in, this, in our town. And uh, no one claimed him, so they we were- flyers, they Yeah, they did everything. Website, and went by, went by all the shelters, did everything we could. And, but we, again, we were asked to foster because it was just, over, they were overwhelmed. And we discovered he has a little bit of an attitude. And um, so we just, it's just sort of, be, he just sort of became ours. It was one of those things that if he were to go back to the shelter where we knew he came from, it probably wouldn't have been a great situation for him because he is grumpy. Um, not with people. Not with people, but with male dogs. So we just keep him here. Other male dogs, yeah. So we just keep him here. And he sleeps separately from Jojo. Um, you know, and it's easier for him to sleep with Chandler than to sleep with us. So, because Jojo can get over all the gates, whereas Little Dog can. So, it's easier for him to sleep with Chandler than with us. So, that's what he does. So, we keep him separated yeah. at night. Yeah, keep him separated at night. Most of the time in the day, he's out with us. Anyway, so, are you going to play your game, Mama? Oh, careful, Mama. Good girl. She loves this game. She will play this game with him as long as he will play it with her. We have to make her stop, though, so she doesn't... Oh, mommy's turn! So she doesn't get too tired. Anyway, so little dog will run with me occasionally. Not too often. It's really too hot on their paws here. Um, but uh, will run with me occasionally. We do different things with him to help him stay calm. So, but he is very growly. You'll hear him. You've heard him on vlogs before. He's very grumpy. Aren't you? You're a grumpy fish, huh? Dad's mommy's been mad. Oh. Been mad. Look at that face. Look at it. 
Oh, God, he's so handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Good mommy, baby. You're just the sweetest boy ever, aren't you? You're, you're just sweet. Yes. And 140 pound lap dog. That's right. He has no idea that he's so big because he was so sick. All we did was hold him. So now he has no idea that he's big. Do you? You don't know. <laughs> Isn't that right? But he is a Newfoundland lab mix. And very scratchy. Um, he ha we have to brush him all the time. He's he's very very. Uh, if you get a newfie, you you have to be prepared to groom them. Um, we did not intentionally get a newfie. We just sort of ended up with one <laughs> and um, learned about them. That's all we could do is learn. Uh, two different daddies. Yeah, we had two different daddies with mom. Because if you look at Addy, that's a yes. totally different. There's a good shot right there. Yeah. Oh, both of them licking. Jojo. Hey. Joe. Joe. Oh my goodness. Bye bye. Hi. If you look, you can tell that they're siblings because they have very similar faces, but they have two different fathers which I actually did not know was possible. The vet explained to us that um, dogs, it's either two or three times they can breed. Yeah. I can't up remember. Up to three. Up to three. They can have three separate litters or fathers or of puppies, of babies. And Addie was one. She's actually the firstborn. Aren't you princess? Aren't you the firstborn? Yes. She's the firstborn. Joe was somewhere in the line, um, but there were how many boys? Wasn't it four boys? No, six boys, seven six, girls. Yeah. And um, so, but there were 13 puppies. 13. 13. 13. <laughs> it was a lot of puppies. Millie's like, tell me about it. <laughs> and she was so young, she didn't really know how to handle or take care of her babies. Uh, so, we most of the time had to help the puppies latch on, help her understand. She got the hang of it, and then she was fine. Um, but uh, she, was so young. she was very, very young, and you know, just wasn't ready to be a mama. So uh, yeah, but just imagine our surprise. Here's this yellow lab, and out came 13 black and white puppies. We were not expecting that. <laughs> So, um, I mean, there's not a, there was not a single one with any yellow. No, not a single one. Yeah. yeah, all there's black little, and white. Little patch of white on them. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, they were just, oh, he's just not gonna stop. He's very itchy. I, we'll, what'll happen now, just for the month, usually for the month of June and July, we will increase his um, Apoquel. I don't like doing it. And then he gets heavy on the steroids. So he'll be on um, prednisone and Apoquel pretty heavily to try and help him. To try and help him. I mean, that's all we can do. Um, like I said, we tried the Cytopoint. It worked the first time. Then we came in for his renewal shot and he lapsed. Um, it actually reacted against him and he reacted to the shot. And so his hair started falling out. His ears got infected. It was terrible. And um, it was a rare reaction. And so the vet called the manufacturer. They did a whole big markup on him. We waited, what? I think it was, they asked us to wait three months. So we waited three months and then we did it again. And he had absolutely no effect. No, the shot did absolutely nothing for him the second time, the, well, the third time, but the second round of it um, did nothing. Um, his itching didn't change, he didn't do anything. So it was back to the Apoquel and the uh, prednisone. It is not a food allergy. We have eliminated that option. We tried that. We have tried so many foods. Food, foods that cost hundreds of dollars. <laughs> because he's not a small dog. <laughs> so, um, and feeding him separately from the other, woo, other dogs. Um, 
Anyway, we've tried many, many things. It's environmental allergies. It's from, yes, it's from uh, outside. It has improved since we took the carpet out of the house. So it has gotten better. He's still itchy, but it, it, has, it has improved because the carpet holds allergens, no matter how much you vacuum. Yeah. It also helped our son. Our son has very similar skin. Throw it, but you're very tired. You're very tired. You have got to rest some. I know, I know. So Millie has a torn doggy ACL. I'm not sure the exact doggy term. And um, she tore it a few years ago. Come on. She's not a candidate for surgery. Um, it's very expensive. It's very, very expensive. And we could try it, but it, there's like only a 10% chance it would work. And multiple vets have just said, just really, it's not worth what she would go through. It's just, she would be in a lot of pain for a long time. It just wasn't, we didn't want to do that to her. And it was been recommended against it. So, <laughs> so for now, she has medications um, for joint pain, for um, any kind of pain she could possibly have. And really, she only gets it very occasionally because it's so bad for her liver. I don't like her to have it. Um, she lets us know when she has pain, and we follow her protocol. And uh, she sees the doctor. She, like I said, we go to the vet all the time. So she sees them all the time where they check her condition and make sure she's still comfortable and she's not in pain. Um, so... <laughs> Isn't that right? Isn't that right? So, anyway. You were so comfy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mommy, get it. Let's get out. Yeah. All right, then, Mama. It's time to get out. Goodbye. Yes. All right. We'll see you next time or later or whenever.